So, what is going on, YouTube? This is Sam from Team Sam Rex right here. And today, guys, I'm coming at you with the Layer of Darkness structure deck opening for you guys today. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. And today is Thursday, which means that this deck is officially released across North America to all OTS stores. So, if you guys haven't gotten your hands on this structure deck yet, make sure you guys check out dollies.ca. I'll leave a link to their website in the description box below. We do free shipping on all CO products. So, if you guys actually convert all the prices uh, that's on the website, you know, to USD, it's gonna be the cheapest price on the market, including. Uh, shipping as well so shipping will be included with the price that you see by the way guys if you guys want to help support the channel make sure you guys get your dark magician and blue eyes play mat today i do free shipping in canada usa international shipping may cost extra so if you guys definitely want to help support the channel make sure you guys check out my facebook page in the description box below and message me on that page and i'll give you guys full details on how you guys can actually get the mat and these mats either comes with zones or without zones so you guys can actually you know get one of each of you guys would like get both of them you know help support the channel and if you guys can just get one i'll be absolutely amazing so make sure you guys purchase your mat today so yeah guys i'm actually very excited with the release of this structure deck i actually have a couple deck profiles coming up later on today so if you guys want to see the deck profile make sure you guys go down there and smash that thumbs up button that'll be absolutely amazing and it is uh you know structure deck opening i'll showcase you guys each and every single cards and just go through you guys the new effects of the new cards that release out of the layer of darkness structure deck and i'll just basically uh you know cover all the reprints all the important cards and basically how the deck uh, will be able to function in today's metagame so without further ado guys let's get started with this layer of darkness structure deck darkest diablos uh deck opening for you guys today so first edition english layer of darkness comes with i believe 41 cards yeah it comes with 41 cards and then i believe there's one two three four five foils out of this you can actually get in this structure deck which is pretty cool so let's get this uh opening right now cool let's see all right so there you go Lilith looks absolutely beautiful so let's get started so you know here is our play mat and our rule book right here so this is the rule book not rule book i mean this is um the strategy guide uh to how you can actually utilize these new cards so there you guys have it right here you know okai the mega monarch is another awesome reprint in this as well and there's all our your power up uh packs you guys can actually use uh with this structure deck this is the play mat right here the play mat looks absolutely gorgeous so there's arima there is uh, Darkest Diablos, and there's Lilith right here. And look at the Arima Third Eye. Look at that. The third Eye, Illuminati confirmed. All right, guys, let's get started with the structure deck opening for you guys today. Cool. And first and foremost, guys, what we have to do, very important. Each time you open a structure deck, I don't know if I'm the only one that does this, but... Woo! Man, man, it smells absolutely amazing. Man, I'm actually weird. If you guys do the exact same thing as I do, just sniff the packs or sniff the structure deck when it comes out. It just smells so good. I don't know. So if you guys do not know uh, her effect, it's a level 3 fiend dark monster with 2,000 attack and 0 defense. If this card is normal summon, its original attack becomes 1,000. But if you bring it out directly from the deck with tour guide or things like that, she still remains a 2,000 attack stat, which can be used for a lot of viruses in today's game. Okay, so quick effect. You can tribute one dark monster, reveal three normal traps from your deck. Your opponent randomly chooses one for you to set on your side of the field, and you shuffle the rest back into your deck. You can only use this effect of Lilith Lady Lamont once per turn. Turn. All right, guys, so this card is absolutely insane. It can search out Dimensional Barrier. It can search out Evenly Match. It can search out Trench Tribute. And this effect is just really effective because Ash Blossom cannot stop this effect because this card doesn't add, uh, you know, the trap card to your hand. It sets it directly from the deck. Okay, guys, so Ash Blossom cannot stop this card from searching your trap cards directly from the deck to your hand. So Lilith is absolutely amazing. Definitely a three of in any uh, Darkest Diablos base deck. Uh, the main man himself. So basically it's effective means that your opponent cannot tribute his face-up card on the field and cannot target this card with card effects. So basically your opponent cannot kaiju this card and if you're ever playing against the mirror match, your opponent cannot tribute this card to activate card effects because of the field spell. So this card is just really amazing. You can only use each of these effects of Darkest Diablos, Lord of Lair, once per turn. If a dark monster you control is tributed except during the damage step, you can special summon this card from your graveyard if it was there already or hand even if not. And what its effect means when it says you can special summon this card from your graveyard if it was there when you tribute it. What this effect means is that you basically can't have Darkest Diablos on the field 
and then you activate a virus to tribute summon Darkest Diablos, and then you activate the same exact Darkest Diablos from your graveyard to special summon itself back from the field. So you can tribute one Dark Monster, your opponent places one card from their hand on either the top or bottom of the deck. So this card actually helps you get rid of uh, one cards in your opponent's hand, which is absolutely insane. So Darkest Diablos, definitely a three off in the pure version. I have an Infernoid version coming up, guys. Make sure you guys stay tuned for that. You can discard this card, add one layer of darkness from your deck to your hand. You can tribute one dark monster, draw one card, or if you tribute a dark monster other than this card to activate this effect, you can add one dark monster with 2,000 or more defense from your deck to your hand instead. You, you can only use the effect of Arima, the Wicked Ward, and once per turn. So this card not only lets you draw cards, but also gets you access to Lair Darkness directly from the deck to your hand. Or this card is an instant search for Darkest Diablos, which is absolutely amazing. So Arima, definitely a 3 off. Lair Darkness, this card is the heart and soul of this entire deck. This is what makes this deck really, really good. All face up monster on the field becomes dark once per turn. If you would tribute a monster you control to activate a card effect, you can tribute one dark monster your opponent controls instead. So this card literally is absolutely broken because this card helps you get rid of monsters on your opponent's turn while you're using cards like Lilith or Arima's effect, which is absolutely crazy. So Lair Dark is just really powerful for that to actually help you get rid of your opponent's monsters, uh, you know, once per turn. Once per turn during the end phase, special summon as many Torment tokens as possible to the turn's player field in defense position. Up to the number of monsters tributed this turn while this was face up on the field. So this card is able to help you generate tokens on your side of the field, which is really, really good. And then if the tokens were to live, you can actually make link plays uh, within the following turn, which is nice. Great Engrave Virus right here. Tribute one Dark Monster with 3,000 or less attack. Your opponent destroys one card of their choice in their hand or deck for every 500 attack that monster had on the field. If you tribute a monster uh, with 2,000 or more attack attack with this effect, look at all cards your opponent draws until the end of their third turn after this card's activation and destroy all monsters amongst them. Cards destroyed and sent to the graveyard by this card's effect cannot be activate their own, cannot activate their own effect that same turn. So this card, in my personal opinion, isn't too great, uh, but it still is actually a very uh, effective card. The reason why this card isn't too good is because you actually don't get to check your opponent's hand. Checking your opponent's hand is actually really important for viruses cards. But anyways, this card can actually become really powerful in certain situations. Next card, uh, Duke Shade, the Sinister Shadow Lord, the new card right here. You can tribute and you can tribute any number of dark monsters. Special summon this card from your hand, and if you do, it gains primary attack for each monster you tributed. If this card is normal summon or special summon, you can target one level. Five or higher dark monster in your graveyard, add it to your hand. So this card can either add cards like you know Darkest Diablos directly from the uh, your graveyard to your hand, which is really awesome. Or any level five or higher dark monster if you're playing uh, you know any other different variations of dark monsters in the deck, which is really good. So this card is your toolbox of the deck and recycles your graveyard. You can only use each effect of Duke Shade of the Sinister Shadow Lord once per turn. You cannot special summon monsters the turn you activate either of these effects except for dark monsters, which is pretty cool. So Duke definitely a, a one or two of in the deck, and now off to just our filler cards right here, Diablos. King of the Abyss, Lich, uh, Lord, King of the Underworld, Prometheus, King of the Shadows, Archfiend Emperor, the First Lord of Horror, Caius, the Mega Monarch, such a really good reprint in this set, Legendary Manju Gazette, Vandy Scene, another really cool common reprint, Miss Archfiend, Infernal Dragon, Archfiend Calvary, Stygian Street Patrol, this card is actually really good because you can manage this card from the graveyard, especially with a Fiend Monster from your hand, and the Fiend Monster you want to likely spe special summon is Lilith, and Lilith at this point when you special summon, uh, you know, herself from your hand or things like that, she'll still maintain that 2000 attack uh, stat, which you can actually use for some viruses, which is pretty nice. Um, Phantom Chaos right here, this card literally becomes any, uh, you know, effect when you banish a monster in the graveyard, so if you banish Lilith from the grave, he essentially gets Lilith uh, on field effect, which is really good. Uh, Plague Wolf. Phoenix Rhino Warrior, really good reprint. Curry Bandit, Tour Guide from the Underworld, another really good reprint. Absolute King Backjack, our first reprint of this card, other than you know the premium gold. Relink Karibo, Reoccurring Nightmare, wow, pretty good. Allure Darkness, another good uh, common reprint for staples. Hand Destruction, in the OCG they have card destruction, so you know it's really cool to see this. Foolish Burial Goods, a really good reprint, guys. If you guys definitely want to get your hands on this, get on your hands on this ASAP right now. This card, I, I just kind of believe in the future, is going to be like a $5 common. Uh, Boogie Trap, Fires of Doomsday, Veil of Darkness, Crush Card Virus, Death Devastation Virus, Eradicator Epidemic Virus, Virus, Full Force Virus, Dark Light, Trap of Darkness, Mind Crush. Mind Crush is actually really good in this deck because you can combo it off with a lot of virus cards in the deck. Especially Deck Devastation, you know, a Full Force Virus and of course... Eradicator Epidemic Virus as well. This card is actually able to look at your opponent's hand and nuke out any problematic cards in your opponent's hand to the graveyard, which is really good. So Mind Crush, really powerful, and it's a really good reprint. 
uh, in this structure deck. Rise to Full Heights, Curse of Darkness, Sinister uh, Yorushiro, and last but not least, the Torment token to run off your structure deck. So that's pretty much it for the structure deck review, guys. Let me know what you guys think about the structure deck in the comment section below. What variations of the deck are you going to play? I have a budget three times structure decks uh, coming right up for you guys. So if you guys want to see that, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. I have a pure version of this deck as well, and I'll be showcasing you guys on how to play this deck within the next following video. So make sure you guys stay tuned for that. So if you guys want to see deck profiles of this deck, make sure you guys smash the thumbs up button. Let me Amazing. This is Sam from Team Sam. Sam signing out. All right, guys. Peace. I feel like Usain in the cheetah print. Talk fresh game. I don't need a minute. R.I.P. the game. Shh, I need a minute. Okay, let's proceed with it. I'm in the house. Got to deal with it. These bozos always sneak this and they taking shots. I'm a keen with it. Like no, no, this league business. Ooh,